complementary and integrative health. Conventional medicine or traditional Western medicine is practiced by MDs or medical doctors, DOs or doctors of osteopathy, nurses, psychologists, physical therapists, as well as other healthcare professionals. Complementary and, and complementary and implementary health include manipulation of the body, energy, movement, traditional indigenous or world therapies, as well as the use of herbs, vitamins, and minerals. There are various therapies that are used. Biologic therapies. These are substances found in nature. They are non-prescriptive. They are herbal medications that are sold over the counter. These will include any herbal therapies, diet therapies, nutritional supplements, vitamins, minerals, or probiotics. Mind and body therapies. These are interactions of the mind and body and the brain to positively affect physical functions and health promotion. These would include relaxation, meditation, biofeedback, hypnosis, yoga, prayer, cognitive behavioral, art, and music therapies. Manual therapies are hands-on focus on various structures and systems of the body. Structures may include bones, joints, soft tissue. Systems may include the circulatory or lymphatic system. These manual therapies will include massage, chiropractic, osteopathy, manipulative therapies, and reflexology. Bioenergetic therapies are manipulations of the human energy field to affect the individual's well-being. This will include healing touch, therapeutic touch, and Qijong. There are also alternative systems of care. These are whole medical systems, like traditional Chinese medicine. This healing is based on indigenous knowledge, therapies, theories, beliefs, and experiences. Nurses facilitate an individual's wellness by assisting in the healing process, intervening proactively to improve outcomes, promoting healthy lifestyles and environments, or practicing individualized care. Holistic nurses emphasize client self-care, being present, and having mindfulness. There are various key holistic nursing concerns. Um, the proactive promotion of health and wellness, honoring caring healing relationship, respecting subjective experiences of wellness, illness, growth, healing, birth, and dying. Empowerment, encouraging active participation in and making informed decisions about an individual's own care. Collaboration of cultural values and belief systems, folk and traditional practices, and the use of complementary and integrative practices in the promotion of health and wellness. Holistic nursing interventions may include acupuncture, animal therapy, biofeedback, counseling, dying and grief management, family support system and caregiver support, Humor, massage, meditation, pain management, prayer, relaxation, self-awareness, spiritual growth, teaching, values clarification. For the nurse, the holistic concerns are proactive promotion of health and wellness, 
honoring the caring healing relationship, respecting the subjective experiences of the client, <clears throat> empowerment, encouraging clients to actively participate in their own care, as well as any collaboration of their value or, or belief system. Various non-pharmacologic therapies are used. Deep breathing. This is a conscious control of the rate of breathing. Can be um, deep or shallow. Can use the stomach or the chest. This will help decrease anxiety, stress, and improve an individual's mood. Meditation. This is quieting the mind, engaging in a deep, contemplation, emptying the mind. The purpose of meditation is to develop mental relaxation and psychological balance. Mindfulness is paying close attention to immediate experiences and being mentally present in the moment. Prayer, this is a personal act. This communicates through an inward conversation with a higher power or being. Aromatherapy, the use of natural plant extracts in creams, lotions, oils, or aromatic diffusers. Aromatherapy helps to improve physical, mental, or spiritual wellness. Acupuncture acupuncture. These are small, thin, sterile needles that are used to penetrate the skin and stimulate anatomic points in the body to improve short or long-term physical functioning. Hypnotherapy. This is an altered state of consciousness that is achieved through relaxation and focused attention to any suggestions that are made. During this time, the mind is inactive, yet the subconscious mind is susceptible to positive suggestions. Massage, the manipulation of soft tissues to help achieve relief from pain. Chiropractic medicine, a manual therapy and spinal manipulation. These treatments assume that spinal misalignments are the cause of illness and emphasize the body's ability for self-healing. Osteopathic medicine. This concentrates on structural and anatomic abnormalities that may cause disease. The treatment of osteopathic medicine seeks to rebalance the structure and the function. The United States Food and Drug Administration, or the FDA, regulates nutritional supplements. However, the FDA relies on the manufacturer to provide the evidence of quality, effectiveness, and truth in advertising. Federal law does define nutritional supplements as any product that one, is taken orally, two, contains one or more nutritional component, three, must be labeled appropriately and correctly. Vitamins, these are accessory nutrients that serve as a cofactor in accelerating and advancing metabolism. The vitamin A, D, E, and K dissolve in fat and are absorbed into the blood through the small intestine. They are then broken down by bile and stored in fatty tissue or organs. Minerals, these are inorganic solids that are derived from soil. These are essential to cell life. 
enzymatic function, capillary permeability, flexing and contracting of muscle and nervous tissue, acid-base balance, osmotic balance and blood volume, gland secretion, and the hardest parts of the body. These would be teeth, bones, and nails. The major or the macronutrients necessary include calcium, iron, magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, and sodium. These are values that need to be known by the nurse.